Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again, bringing you a brand new trade review and special offer video for you guys. How are you guys doing? I'm coming to you from the 25th floor overlooking the beautiful Acapulco Bay here down in Mexico. Man, it is absolutely beautiful out there right now. I love these intros, man. I have so much fun making the intros to these videos and then the rest of the videos a grind. But hey, let's get into it. I want to we are going to talk about the USD CAD trade review and I also have a little weekend special for anybody that was looking to join the Moneyball trading uh, 90-day boot camp for you guys. So here it is, the Labor Day sale 25% off special for the Moneyball Trading Bootcamp training and Discord community. To be honest, I'm very proud of what I've done with this group so far and the whole structure layout of the whole program. You join in, you watch the intro, and then how it's really set up is you watch the intro video, you read the 75 page ebook, and you read that ebook every single day. I tell you, you got to read it every single day for the next 30 days because the more times you read it, the more times. You pick up more information, you understand it, and then when you go and watch the videos, the ebook makes sense, and then you go watch the videos again, then you go read the ebook again, and it makes more sense and more sense and more sense, and then you look at the Discord group and we're talking about it and it starts to click, you know what I mean? So it's a 90 day program. The first 30 days is really understanding the whole methodology, and you're not going to have, you're not going to understand everything within the first 30 days, but you want to have that really good solid base knowledge for the first 30 days. So you join in, you watch the intro. Uh, you read the whole book. You read that every single day. I tell people. Uh, then you have lesson one, lesson one recap, and then you got to take a quiz to make sure you understand that. And then after the quiz, I say, hey, you know what? I want you to hand in the homework in the Discord community, which then I will make a recording going over the homework. And if I don't like it, or I think you could use a little improvement on section, I'll say, hey, you know what? Hand in three to four more charts. Focus more on this and do less of this. So it's really hands on. I spend a lot of time with the group. And we'll talk later about that, but it's awesome. You get access to the full program, Discord community, and everything. So I'd love to have you guys part of the team. That is the goal, 90 days before Christmas holidays. How cool would that be? From now, September 2nd slash 3rd, by the time you're watching this, Labor Day weekend 2021, 90 days from now, be a consistently profitable trader. Now, I can't do it all myself. You guys got to put in the work, but I will be there to help you guys over the next 90 days and after that as well. All right. So if you guys were interested in joining that, you can check out the description below, moneyballtrading.com. Feel free to reach out to me on social media, Moneyball Austin. Let's start with the USD CAD trade review. So this was a trade review trading the one time frame trade sequence setup. Instead of trading multiple time frame analysis, we're still back testing this. And actually I did a back test on this. We have a back testing tab in the Discord group and we talk about this. Just complete this was last week. Just completed another 25 trade back test. Here I was testing the one time frame trade see the one time frame trade setup while keeping an eye on the daily time frame. Risk to reward was 1.5 to 1 every single time, risking 1%, and ended up with a 52% win rate plus 7.3%. We'll we'll start to consider what I could possibly add to this. Um, to make the win rate higher. So it's not the greatest win rate for that trade setup. So it wasn't really the best results I was hoping for. I mean, maybe I could always look to improve and stuff like that. But hey, you know what? It builds confidence. And actually, that was a question I got on Twitter. I know I'm jumping around a lot. Sorry, guys, but this is solid information. I'm telling you guys. Here on my Twitter, I asked a question saying, if there is anything, what are you guys most unsure about using the supply and demand methodology or trading in general? And people are asking questions, so I made a separate um, post about this, and I spent some time writing out answers. Um, what was the question that we were just talking about? Oh, that was talking about win rate. So I guess I didn't really talk about win rate. But one of the questions were, what qualifies as a strong zone? And actually, hopefully we answer that question. But every single of these questions were answered in the free mini course that I offer, as well as my tips playlist on my YouTube so if you haven't checked that out, check that out as well. But we'll probably answer what qualifies as a strong zone. And I think that's a good one to answer in this video. Let's go over to the USD CAD. And you'll notice a lot of my trade reviews. You go back and look at all my trades. You'll notice very strong imbalances. Like from my supply and demand zone, in this case, a drop-based rally, you see the rally out of the zone. It's shooting straight up, you know. It's like a big black cock. I've used that reference before in my video like once. It's true. I'm using black candles. It's like a big black cock. I wouldn't know what that looks like, but 
I'm just saying. <laughs> so here it is, USD Canadian one hour time frame. This was the one time frame trade setup. Not bad, you know, you can't really complain with a 50-50 win-loss record. And you know what, this is what I find so interesting about trading is it can only go up or down. You know, the charts can only go up, down, up, down. It can two ways. That's really what it is. It's a 50-50 chance. And you can stack up a large amount of things in your favor and you can create a whole analysis and bias to why you think something is going up, right? And you don't have to put money on that until you have all these things aligned. And then you could say, statistically, based on previous actions and my history of back testing, or when this happens, this happens, this happens, or when this lines up, this lines up, this lines up, statistically, price will do this, you know? Doesn't mean it's always gonna happen, but there is a uh, higher probability, that's the word I'm looking for, than one thing happening over another, right? So that's really what we're trying to do, and with a 50-50 win rate, or in that case, like 55, with a 1.5 risk to reward, you really can't complain. You just got to be taking the same trade setup every single time, right? Consistency. Consistency. <laughs> so USD CAD, um, what I was looking for was very strong imbalances. And the reason why we want to see strong imbalances is because, well, that's the whole concept of supply and demand. We're trying to identify, locate where the big money, where the big institutions, I guess you could say, is buying and selling. These big moves to the downside, these big moves to the upside these big moves to the upside. Those aren't retail traders. Yes, there are retail traders buying that up as well, but that's a lot of money moving the market. I'm sorry, but you and I mixed together are not going to be making these moves in the market. So kind of the theory behind it is, well, if they saw value in that price before, why shouldn't they see value in it again? So that's what I was really trying to play off of, of this is where they were buying from down here, and the price ultimately went all the way up here in a very fast form. It's not like over here where price is grinded out sideways. Yes, it went up clearly, but it didn't go up in a strong fashion. If there was a lot of buyers in here, don't you think it wouldn't have spent that much time, right? Instead, it just kind of grinded up. So I wouldn't be wanting to buy in this demand zone if there is any demand zone. You know what I mean? But there's also a couple other things, you know, what's a quality zone? Does it remove an opposing zone? Does it break structure? Uh, how far did price leave? Is there a futures correlation? You know, there's a lot of different stuff that's hard for me to answer just in this video. But that 90-day program, I'm telling you, man, we go into it in details. But here, what I wanted to see was this supply zone being removed right here, this rally base drop and the break in structure. We wanted to see a break in this downward momentum line indicating to me like, okay, lower lows, lower highs have now been broken. We just removed a lower low, lower high pivot point zone. That's not something we do in downtrends. We don't remove lower lows, lower highs, right? We don't remove supply zones in a downtrend. So this is an indication that price is starting to turn potentially. We saw the structure break with momentum. We saw the removal of the zone. We see good quality leg outs, and that's really what I'm trading. Right? You look at my previous trade reviews, you always see these very strong leg outs, right? So that's what I was trying to do, and I bought the pullback back down into here at this drop based rally demand zone. So I bought the pullback and then wrote it up to 1.5 to 1 in this case. I did because this was the next opposing zone. That was another question somebody asked me is how do I how do I take entry, stop loss, take profits? That's a, a very big question. I would direct you to that tips playlist video because I, I definitely do answer it in the best, best way I can in seven minutes or less. But that's what I was looking for is to get out of this zone, uh, get out of this trade before this opposing supply zone. And so it worked out pretty well. I think it was like 650 or 700 or something like that. So really good trade. I like that one. If we go over here to the Discord. So I think we're going to end it here. Let's see. I want to give a big shout out to my man Adrian because he did reach out to me and he sent this awesome testimonial. Let's read it together. I think we'll get a kick out of this. Oh, let's. Oh, really quickly. Let's talk about this Twitter. I thought it was pretty funny. I, I made a tweet talking about where I am. Beautiful day in Acapulco. That's the view, basically. Absolutely beautiful. But this was the trade, or not the trade, the post I made. Charts with the view, Acapulco, Mexico. 
beautiful view, right? Absolutely beautiful. I usually sit out here during sunset. And my man Rodrigo hit me up and he says, bro, I see you. And he, uh, I guess he's at the hotel next to me or something like that or a couple down the road. He takes a picture of my hotel. That's funny. So shout out to you, Rodrigo. You're, that's hilarious. I think that's funny. Um, anyways, let's get to this Discord message. Big shout out to Adrian, man. This guy is a champion. I just want to say thank you for him to sending me this testimonial. I could read it to you guys. Let's read it together. I think it's pretty funny. I get a kick reading these, to be honest. So he said, I decided to join the course in June 2021 after watching the free video course of Austin's website. Well, thank you very much, Adrian. I do appreciate that. The free course gave such a clear, succinct, succinct explanation of supply and demand zone as supply and demand concepts that I was beyond convinced that the paid course would be very valuable. Succinct. Let's Google that. Search with Google. Hopefully you guys can hear this. Succinct. 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 There you go. You learn a new word every single day. Succinct. That's awesome. Uh, so what did he say? It turns out that it exceeded my expectations in every way. Austin has spent copious amounts of time um, with the manual, I came from a professional management training and development background for a large multinational corporation. And I have to say, I am most impressed with what Austin had put together in the manual and in the course. My God, thank you so much, Adrian. I appreciate that. The attention to detail and description of thinking that he has put into both the design of the trading system and the learning experience of his students is without a doubt worth much more than what I have paid for. I would agree with that. I spend a lot of time with people. A lot of free one-on-ones I give, you know? Uh, but hey, if people are willing to put in the work, I'm, I'm willing to put in the work with them too, you know? Customer service. That's what I value the most. There are other supply and demand courses. He says, there are other supply and demand courses out there that could easily cost 10 times Austin's and it still wouldn't even deliver as much value as his. Thank you. I also had the opportunity, as other buyers of the course have, to join the Discord community for a while. Everything Austin does, which I have seen and experienced for myself, displays an extremely high level of professionalism, which when combined with his strong dedication to helping his students succeed in this trading course is a powerful formula for anybody looking to become a consistently profitable trader in the supply and demand methodology. My guy, love it, man. I highly recommend Austin's course and community to anybody who is looking to become a consistently profitable supply and demand trader. My guy, that was awesome, wasn't it? Adrian, man, thank you so much for that, man. I always appreciate that. It's always good to hear back from the students, from my friends. I don't like to call them fr uh, students. They're my friends, right? I like to call everybody my friend. So, hey, that's going to end it for this video, guys. I really much appreciate it. If you like this video, comment, like, subscribe. I look forward to working with you in the 90 day trading boot camp. If you have any questions about that, you can reach out to me on social media. All right. I'll let you guys go. Have a great weekend, everybody. Cheers.